Hey guys, Jesse here with JP Outdoors, and I am in the Ozarks for the next six days, slamming catfish, catching paddlefish, eating great food. Make sure you guys stick around, this is gonna be a good time. Tripled up on fish. That is awesome. This is exactly what I was hoping for right here. Dude. Probably about 50 pounds. All right, we're gonna try this paddlefish caviar out. It's like, but it's, it's... from our destination we rented a house from VRBO be doing a lot of kayaking and fishing we've got a fishing charter lined up kids are out of school for spring break and my buddy Alex and his kids are going as well so it should be a pretty fun trip and I know some of you are probably gonna comment that I'm a terrible husband because my wife's driving but she's a much better driver than I am so oh, luckily I have a wife that likes driving and I'm really hoping the fishing is going to be better on this trip than when I went to the Ozarks. Did I say Ozarks? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that the fishing is better in the Ozarks than it was in the Everglades. Because I don't know if I can stomach another trip of not catching fish. I might just give my poles away if that's the case. So. That charter I lined up is for paddle fish. I've never done any paddle fishing before. Um, that sounds pretty promising. I'd like to get onto some big ones. And uh, we'll just see. Hi. Scott, you ready for a good weekend, bud? Yeah. Oh man, it's gonna be a wild weekend with those boys. Ain't no doubt about that. Now let's go check this house out. All right, looks pretty decent. Let's check the inside out and see what home's gonna be like for the next six days. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Nice little bunk bed for the boys. Uh, downstairs, nice kitchen. Yeah, pretty nice view out here. This place is pretty darn nice. It's a lot better than the, the tent that I usually sleep in. A nice fireplace here. <laughs> he already caught a crappie. Maggie, That's a nice that? one too, buddy. First crappie of the trip. That's awesome. Yeah. Was that on a grub? Yeah, on grub. This place is a little, little higher class than old JP Outdoors is used to. So, but it'll be a good time. Somebody's gotta live the life. Somebody's gotta live the life. And I also got a nice dock out here too. Check this thing out. Skylar's already fishing. We ain't been here more than 30 minutes. They got swings that go out into the water, water slide, little second story. <laughs> Don't fall in, it's gonna be cold. What kind of shoes you got on there, kid? Uh, Charlotte sandals. <laughs> you got girl sandals on. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, hey, that's cut bait. Keep that. It's a nice one. Heck yeah, buddy. These boys are gonna be out here guaranteed every hour of the day for the next six days. There's no doubt about that. All right, I can't stand it. I gotta get a pole out in the water. No, I'll throw that one back. He's a little bit big. On what, buddy? 
Well, I'm going to leave that set out and hopefully maybe get onto something. I'm just going to do some lazy fishing today. You got another crappie. I'm going to start calling you crappie man. <laughs> I got a little bluegill, huh, bud? All right, we're back inside. The fish... The kids were way better at fishing than I was today. So, um, <laughs> which that's typical. But I brought my own personal chef with me on this trip. His name's Alex. <laughs> yep, personal chef. Yes. Connoisseur. We can do some cooking, do some eating. Just hang out for the rest of the night. Homemade radish chips. Radish chips. And the kids really like them. Plus, it's like a potato chip. I've never had deep fried radishes before, but we're about to try them. Man, those are good. I like pretty much anything, but that was good. You can do the unveiling. You know, just because we're doing hot dogs tonight doesn't mean we're not going to do better stuff for the rest of the <laughs> yes. week. But look at just, this thing. That's oh a nice one. Good job. Hey, just don't touch the grill, okay? Don't touch the spark. Oh, I'm probably going to gain 20 pounds on this trip. All right, we came out for a little bit just to fish before we went to bed, and Alex has been slamming some bluegill at night, which I have never caught bluegill at night, and he just hooked into this. <laughs> that is a nice drum. Dude, that thing's huge. That is a nice drum. And I'll tell you what, those things are good eating, too. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. All right, that's enough excitement for tonight. It's about one in the morning, and I'm ready to go to bed. The girls are already in bed, and the kids. Set a couple poles out with some cut bait on it. We'll check it in the morning. We'll see you guys in the morning. It's morning, and I think Skyler wants to do some fishing. So It is cold outside, though but I slept like a rock. I left this pole out last night, and it looks like it's shifted and moved, so I'm gonna let Skyler reel it in. All right, does it feel like it's pretty decent size? Yeah. That's a good way to wake up, huh, bud? Uh -huh. The hook will come out. Can you hold this? If this thing netted. <laughs> That's a decent one. Yeah. So this is why I like circle hooks. I left this thing sit out here and it hooked itself perfect. <clears throat> right in the corner of the mouth. I didn't have to set the hook. I didn't have to do anything. So for those of you that give me a bunch of flack about using circle hooks, this is why I use circle hooks. And lazy fish. And lazy fish. <laughs> All right, now that's a good way to wake up. I think this is a blue cat. Um, we're gonna get a weight on it and throw it back. Uh, six six pounds, pounds, 15 ounces. Don't let them drop too far. There you go. Scott, what'd you get, buddy? I got a little crappie. That's not a little crappie, that's a nice crappie. Hold that thing up. Nice, that's, dude. That's a keeper, but. It is a keeper, that's a nice one. This dock's only got one pole holder, so I had to use some ingenuity. I took one of my pole holders that I have that go down on the ground and I just tied it. That should do all right. And it's not gonna go nowhere. Well, I just got one on. Whatever, you're ringing up your other pole also. Got another cat. I think this is a blue cat as well. Guys, Andrew just came here with the net. <laughs> He's a little late. I got these little guys. Circle hooks. All right. All right, let's see if we can get onto another one. I couldn't even finish rigging my other pole up before I got another one. Uh, 
<laughs> Man, it is cold outside. We just had a neighbor come over and she was talking to us. Uh, had said that just last week somebody caught a world record spoonbill out of here. And that's what we're doing tomorrow is going spoonbill or paddlefish snagging. So I'm hoping we get into a decent one uh, because this cold weather is just kind of putting a damper on a lot of stuff. <laughs> she said it was in the 70s last week. We come and it's literally 40 degrees. So it just, it never fails. Every trip that I plan never goes as planned. But you just got to make the best of it. We were able to get onto a couple fish so far. Um, kids are having fun. They're in the hot tub having a good time. So hopefully tomorrow is going to be worth it. That's kind of the whole reason we came on this trip was to do this charter for paddlefish. So if I can get on some decent ones, it'll be all worth it. You boys done with fishing for a while? Ready to get warmed up yeah. 104 degrees well it's about it feels like it's about four degrees out here what are you boys doing and we're in the hot tub where are you did you get stuck they got no clue that i'm up here <laughs> oh i got a bite i got a fish on Woo -wee. Which one is it? Well, I hooked into it. It was nibbling on it. I don't think it's real big, but it's decent. That ain't bad. Pretty one. That's not too shabby. I think we found a good little hole for blue cats. Jesse was all, he was all the way up there on the deck and ran all the way down that was uh that was a long run for this guy <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see if we can get on to some more i got an idea and i don't know if it's a good idea but we're gonna try it i might lose a pole over it but it's in the name of fishing i'm gonna put a pole holder and <laughs> tie it onto that zip tie it and try to get way far out there. And then if I hook onto a fish, I can just feed it down to somebody or somebody can feed it down to me and then we can land it. That's not going anywhere. Nice. I don't know how this is gonna work, but well, I guess we'll just play it by ear. Well, we got all the poles out. We got a nice fire made. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for some of these bells to go off. If we can't get any fish with all these poles out, then I think we just need to quit fishing. Yep. But I am gonna have a long ways to walk or run if I get a fish. Because <laughs> it's all the way up there on the second story on that last one I threw out there. Well, it's 40 degrees outside and my boy Skyler and his buddy Jameson think they want to jump into this water out here. They're nuts. Is it warm? <laughs> Is it cold? That yet? face tells me everything I need to know. Yes, is it cold? No, it's cold. It's cold. Two. Three. <laughs> I'm running by. No. Let me take off your bike. Those boys are nuts. There ain't no way I'd be jumping in that water. These boys are wanting to jump again. They're nuts. <laughs> Straight to the hot tub. It is 40 degrees outside and these boys are jumping in the lake. There is absolutely no way you could pay me to do that. Well, it's cold enough outside and we're inside and we're hungry, so. <laughs> My chef is cooking us up something real good today. Yeah, we'll probably do some brown sugar on it at the end. Mm, there we go. Cuts in it to uh, also help it cook through a little better.
That's good. You keep making those. <laughs> Wow, that looks great, bud. <laughs> I'm going to crack it. All right, pop it. Oh, it just like shot in my eye. Mm -hmm. right, I'm absolutely stuffed. So I'm going to go out and check on my poles, make sure I don't have any fish on the line, and then I'm going to turn in for the night. I think we caught onto a catfish on the, the rod that I put up top on the second story. It's big. All right, I cannot get it out of there, but I think if I get a uh, different angle, I might be able to get it unhooked. And we're gonna get my kayak and I'm gonna go out and venture out to see if I can get this thing unstuck. I don't know, I think it's a pretty decent sized one. I think it's worth the effort. All right, buddy, wish me luck. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can get it. Yeah. It got me stuck down in, in some rocks and some brush. I couldn't get it out. I had to snap my line. So we're going to rebate, throw out, and hopefully we get one in the morning. Well, that was pretty disheartening. I was really hoping to get that one in because I could. that was a good fight at the beginning. And it got down and just hung me up. So I threw three poles out Tomorrow for me and the boys. Them. And we're gonna check them in the morning. Make sure you guys stay tuned. See you guys in the morning. We got a big day tomorrow. Couldn't go back and fish this again from here, but this is about Okay, I lied. I didn't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we are watching fishing videos on YouTube, and uh, I need to go check my lines again. Well, I for sure have one on because my line is straight over there. I cast it straight out there, so I got one on. Where's it at? Over here. Here, buddy. See if you can get on that other side and I'll see if I can get over there. Yeah. All right. It'll be worth it. All right. Oh, buddy, I think it's a decent one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's twisted up on himself, too, buddy. Oh, buddy. Nice. I'm going to say nine. Look at that. That is awesome. That's a nice one. That's, you can tell that one's a blue cat. That one. That's decent. I figured it was heavier. Yes. Yeah. Six pounds is still not a bad fish though. I had a feeling I had one on my line. I just had to come out and check that before I went to bed. So, got the lines back out in the water. Hopefully, we wake up to some fish on the line in the morning. This time, I'm really going to bed. So, we'll see you guys in the morning. Like I said, we got a big day tomorrow. Well, good morning, guys. It's about 9.30. Alex is cooking up breakfast. I'm gonna check my lines, eat some breakfast, and then we're going out on a charter for the next half of the day for some spoonbill. So I'm really hoping this is a successful fishing charter trip. I just have not ha been having that much luck with fishing here lately, so I need to redeem myself. Nothing on that. No, no fish. Hopefully that's not a prelude of fishing today. We've met with the captain here. We're gonna hop on the boat and things are looking pretty good. That's right, always a good sign when there's blood in the boat. Yes, sir. <laughs> so when I get a spoon bill in front of you, you guys are gonna be, I'll tell you to pitch it. Yep. I'll tell you to set it. And I'll tell you to jerk it. 
tip down. Set it. Reel just a little. Jerk. Oh, man. Jerk. Oh, got him! Just keep him wet? Yeah. There we go, boys. Oh. Wrapped around it. <laughs> Ready to go to the mailbox. Work of the tail Work to the eyeball. Half inch short. All right, just glad I got into one. Throw this one back and try to get back on them. Jerk. I was just yeah. gonna say you got it. Oh, yeah. First cast. <laughs> Hold over. I'm gonna take you around. Keep your fish. <laughs> That's a nice one, buddy. That's a dandy. Set it. And this old boy knows what he's doing. I'm telling you that right now. Dude. Oh man, Take go ahead. More. This is exactly what I was hoping for right here. Dude. Probably about 50 pounds. Cooler it up. Set it. Tip down. Jerk. Oh, oh, there I you knew go. he had it. Heck yeah, buddy. Just bring her up easy and reel down slow to it. Just keep your line tight, that's all that matters. Yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, buddy. Kind of she dove off in the mud and see her muddy face. Yep. Set it. Jerk hard. Dude, oh, baby. That, it's like bringing in a barn door. <laughs> Holy cow. They got to get a picture of me with that one. <laughs> Got him. It is running. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Gas, please. Yep. Now that's what I call a good day right there. You ain't changing me. No, there's another one I see sticking out this way too. And we are You ready to see some of these crazy fish, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Woo! Jeez. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Those are huge. James, look. <laughs> <laughs> you get, hey, you get some blood on you? Yeah, look at my lip. <laughs> you did, you got it in your mouth. Sawyer's on a catfish. Dude, that's that's the best catfish we've gotten this whole trip, man. It you need to go weigh time. that thing. Uh, you can't see it, but it says 914. Caviar. That's so much. Try some paddlefish caviar. 
I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we're gonna try it out. Yeah, he went around him earlier. I think that boy knows how to drive a boat. That boy knows how to drive a boat. <laughs> yes. And he knows how to fish. Golly, man. What a blast. Well, I think today was a pretty successful day. I had an absolute blast. It was everything I was hoping for. So sometimes my fishing trips don't go as planned, but this one went perfect. We're gonna put this fish in the fridge and uh, probably make up a dinner, uh, probably tomorrow. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And uh, we're gonna try some of the caviar as well. If you guys wanna try this trip, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, STL catfishing, I believe. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, we're out here in Missouri. They've got uh, several charters that come out here and do this. Uh, but I'm telling you what, this guy knows what he's doing. You want to do it? Get a hold of him. 45 pounds of fillets. That's not a bad day. <laughs> Kids are in the hot tub. We're going to take the girls out to go get some food and leave them home with the oldest. So. Try to get out a little bit, and I think the girls have put up with enough of us fishing for the past two or three days, so, and it's not over with yet, so we gotta try to make it up to them. All right, we're back from dinner. I'm gonna check on these poles, make sure they're rigged up and we don't have anything on them. All right, nothing on the lines. We uh, checked them, threw them back out, and we'll check them in the morning. This guy is gonna get some sleep out of big day today. A lot of fun though, got on some really big fish and made some really good memories. We'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, good morning. I'm out of the dock. No fish on my lines. Um, if there was, they got off throughout the night. So I'm gonna get some things ready here and kind of wake up, get some coffee, and get out on these kayaks because my boys have really been wanting to get these kayaks out and it's supposed to be pretty decent today. It's supposed to be pretty nice. Yeah, is that the one that you're wanting? Yeah. All right. What are you watching? Fishing. Fishing videos, huh? Mm -hmm. You just can't get away from it. <laughs> Look what Sawyer just got. Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> good work, man. That's a good way to wake up, huh? Yeah. I bet we're going to get some more today. It's nice, on man. That, that. Oh, Skylar's on one. <laughs> you got yourself a catfish, huh? It's Looks like a channel cat. Fighting. Yeah, it was. Teamwork makes a dream work. Look at that, bud. Heck yeah, buddy. That's I think that's the first uh, channel cat that we've gotten out here. Ready? Nice. My, Who I caught that? My mom. <laughs> Your mom caught it. She did it I'll tell you what, we're going to make a fisher woman out of her yet, huh? Oh, yeah. Get ready to net, Sawyer. Jameson, you got on one? Yep. Nice, dude. That's super duper fail. That's a nice one. Second or third one of the day. Nice. Second or third one of the day. We kind of lost count, huh? Yeah. All right, boys. We got another one on the line? Yep. You guys are slamming them. Man, if we really wanted to, we'd have a catfish dinner. Got I think you got the littlest one of the trip. Oh, oh Andrew, you got one too? That was perfect timing. Guys. Dad, he's saying something. He's saying subscribe to the video. <laughs> still saying it. That's 60 pound test, so you're good. There you go. My boys doubled up on catfish. Heck yeah, guys, good work. Let's bring this one. Grab them. Like this. Ooh. Hi, guys. Maggie's reeling it in. Maggie's got one. Mama. Scoot up this way, baby. This way. Hey, Sawyer. Yeah. There you go. They got. It. Well, you don't have to. You can just hold the yellow. Stand by it. All right. Hold the yellow there. Here. Yeah. Max, stand by it. Yeah. Can you guys stand by each other. Okay. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Look at that fish Maggie caught. That's got a big old belly on it. That is awesome. Is that a mouth? Nice, Maggie. Hey. Good job, Maggie. <laughs> These kids are absolutely slamming the catfish. It's awesome. I had a feeling today would be good with the weather. 
It is super nice outside. It's about 60, 65. It's warmed up. And I think the fish are moving and eating. So I have a feeling that's not going to be the last of the catfish that we catch today. These kids are still slamming catfish, but the boys kind of want to go out on the kayaks for a bit. It's pretty nice outside. So Skylar's never been on a kayak. So this ought to be pretty interesting. All right, in the kayak, we're going to do some messing around out on the water. Turn this way. Towards me. <laughs> How do we stop? You have to paddle backwards. Hey, Skylar, I think your best thing to do right now is not necessarily fish, but just kind of kayak around and get a feel for it and kind of learn how to kayak that way. when Because we're going to be doing a lot of kayak adventures this year. And the more you learn, the better you're going to be at it. And then you can start slamming fish. You can start slamming fish out of it. Got a fish on. Get it, Alex. That's a dandy. <laughs> Hold that thing up. Let's see what you're working with. Oh, no. You got another fish, dude. 5'8". Eight. 5'8". Five eight. Five eight. Five eight. Look at that Jesse. thing. I think we're uh, going to put the kayaks up. It's been a little bit too hectic bringing these things out with the boys. So we're just going to fish from the dock. We're getting the most fish doing that way. Might as well just stick with what we're doing good with. I think you did pretty good on your first time kayaking. You got around pretty good. It's hard to kayak yeah, and fish in though, wind, isn't it? In the wind. Yeah, in the wind too. But it's it's kind of hard to kayak I, and fish. I was like not turning for some reason I had a break. Yeah, there's just a lot going on when you're out in a kayak. Even the calm water. Yeah, but hey, you did a good job, buddy. Got on another catfish. Man, they are slamming like crazy. There you go, bud. Man, that's a nice one, buddy. Get the net. Forget this break. You boys are absolutely slamming them. Yes, you need to have to slam them. No, Max. No, Daniel. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You got one, too. <laughs> oh, you lost it. Darn it. All that line was out. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> man, buddy, that's an awesome one. Good job, man. You boys are he's, slamming them. He's saying something. Tell him what he's saying. He's saying subscribe. To the channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one right there. Oh, yes. Oh. Got him. You got him? I just let that one go. This is a little one. <laughs> this is good, buddy. I got the net. I'm good, bud. Thanks, guys, buddy. He got two. Yeah, I just let that one go. Oh, my God. I got a big bucket. Name it. Boy, they go straight down to the mud, don't they? Yeah, they do. Man, you got one now, kiddo. Okay, go ahead, Bill. I take off the belt. Oh, shit. Did he get off? I want. Oh, no. That was a the big one. The knot broke. It's a little less crap what we got this whole trip. <laughs> Sawyer's on one. How's it feel, bud? Decent one. Felt decent, but it looks tiny. That's not tiny. That's a good four or five pounder. We got a fish down here, and he's already on one. We got a bunch of chaos over here. We got Skylar in the kayak. We got a fish up here, and we got a fish we just reeled in. Look at that big boy. <laughs> and we got one here. But here. Boys are tripled up. Tripled up on fish. That is unreal. Tripled up on fish, boys. Just got done tripling up, and I think we quadrupled up. You, oh my goodness. Holy, holy cow. <laughs> ah, it's touching me. <laughs> they said triple, I said no quad. That is awesome. Oh yeah, just. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
That's a stud right there. <laughs> That's a, another channel. These channel cat, when they're little, they get little spots on them, and then the, when they get older, they disappear. Yep. Yeah. Another channel. Nice. That was a pretty dark one. There's been days where I went out catfishing and ain't caught one thing, so. Yeah, I remember that. I try to forget those days, though. Dude, that one was got still, another one. That one was still eating the whole That's a little time. bitty guy. That thing was probably born last year. <laughs> or probably. Or maybe two years ago. Yeah, probably ain't very old. Got another one. I just jerked it and he got it. You set that hook on it, didn't you? Yeah. It's a nice one, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, here, it's a catfish. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice, buddy. I can't even see the hook. Probably going to have to just cut the line. Yeah. All right, it's starting to get dark. The boys slammed the fish all day today. Think it's time for dinner. For dinner tonight, we are going to make up some of that paddle fish that we caught yesterday. Going to try it out and see what it tastes like. It's just what, a, what are you soaking that in? Beer, no, beer, milk, and egg. Beer, milk, and egg. Yeah, just to kind of get... You know, that paddle fish, though, looks good. Like, it looks like good yeah, meat. I mean, it's like a white, you know, flaky. You like that paddle fish, bud? Yeah. Pretty good? It's not as good as a catfish. Not as good as a catfish. Well, you better like it because we got six bags of it, pal. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. This paddle fish is good. I'm I'm pretty pleased with it. It's not as good as crappie or bluegill, but it does have a good flavor to it. I don't want to eat a big old steak of it. Probably be a little fishy, but just in little strips like this fried up, it's good. We got little garlic hush puppies. Now these things will make you sick because you just can't stop eating them. They're so good. Even got the dips. What do you call that? Cowboy crack dip. It's good. If, if I dip the garlic knots in the cowboy crack, I think it's healthy mm -hmm. and I think it would taste good. It's good for you. Yeah. Fat free. What I should have done was weigh myself before this trip and then after this trip. Yeah. That would be a sad video though. And we don't want sad videos. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Who is Kasaya? Uh, my favorite part of the day was watching you guys kayak and catch fish. JP Outdoors is wrecked after that dinner. He's just relaxing, going to take it easy for the night. <laughs> right there. You, I, you probably, it's not like your normal thing, so. Well, good morning, guys. It's kind of been our favorite part of the morning, besides breakfast. I was just coming down here and checking these poles to see if we've got any fish on there, so. Well, no fish. That's all right. I think we caught our fair share yesterday, so. Maybe the bite will turn back on. Thanks, sir. Like his promise is true. Only my faith can undo the many chances I do to bring my life to a new price. My only lead and hope is for the people of such an intense pain. The kids want to die right now. Well, it's our last day here, and I had planned to go out kayaking, but it is so windy outside today. I'm hoping the wind dies down. I haven't looked at the weather, but it'd be nice if it did. You can't go in the water. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he <laughs> Yeah. 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 Well, 
buddy, you set that hook all by yourself, didn't you? That's a nice one. Good work. Reeled that in all on your own, huh? Yep. Skyler has been bugging me and bugging me about going out in the kayak. I told him it was too windy. So finally, I just, I gave in and said, all right, go put your life jacket on and get out there and see what it's all about. I figure he's gonna learn one way or another and it might as well be the hard way so all the winds blowing towards us so I'm not worried about him getting swept out he's just gonna have to uh, have to figure it out on his own I guess got a channel cat he just reeled it all the way up here <laughs> Skyler's putting the kayak up. That took about three minutes for him to figure out that he didn't want a kayak anymore. There is a huge crawfish up on shore. That's a decent one. We picked me. Oh yeah, it's got eggs all in it. That is crazy. No catfish bait. We're going to put her back so she can have her babies. Make more baby crawfish. I've never seen a pregnant crawfish. I haven't either. In the tail like that. Like, there was so many eggs. All right, we're going to start cooking up some dinner. Boys are been slamming bluegill. I went to town, got me this hoodie. I had to get a hoodie. It wasn't cheap, but I couldn't not get one. And I also got one more thing that I'm gonna surprise the boys with. They've got no clue. I bought a bunch of fireworks for the boys. I figure once the wind dies down, we'll go out to the waterfront and light off a bunch of fireworks for them. They're gonna be very excited. Yes. All right, we're gonna have an Alex special. It's smoked <laughs> cream cheese. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to smoke it really on this grill, but it's like warmed up cream cheese with seasoning on it and then this like bacon candy on it. A bacon jam. Oh my God, it is awesome. It is definitely not healthy. My arteries and my heart are already screaming from it. Mine are screaming, hooray! <laughs> it is definitely going to be good eating. We're also going to try something I have never tried before and neither has, uh, has Alex. I don't know if the girls are going to try it or not. My wife probably will. He saved some of the eggs from the paddlefish. Apparently, it, there's paddlefish caviar is a thing. So we're going to try to prepare it tonight and eat some. I don't know what it's going to taste like. We got to looking on the internet, and for seven ounces of these eggs is anywhere from $150 to $250. So we're going to try it. We're going to be eating... Eating like kings tonight. I don't know if we're going to like it, though. Yes, this is bacon grease. <laughs> Just trying all new, a whole bunch of new stuff this go around. Paddlefish eggs, smokeless smoked <laughs> cream cheese. <laughs> I mean, why not? Fancy. I'm just, I'm just being creative. So I think this process like separates it from the membrane. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you get a hillbilly and somebody that likes to cook together. Oh, yeah, or a little bit of both of each. So this is all stuff we're not gonna eat, so it's just gonna roll right over. A coffee filter can also be used to make caviar. So the more you know. What'd you get, buddy? A mini bass or a rock bass. A little bass, huh? Nice, dude. It looks like a rock bass. What'd you catch that on, a bobber? Yep. Cool, man. All 
All right, we're gonna try this paddlefish caviar out. Kosh is gonna try it out too. Bon appetit, cheers. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but it's it's not bad. It is fishy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you really think. <laughs> I, I give you an A for trying it. <laughs> Ooh. I could eat it on a cracker. I liked it. It's not bad. Yeah. I feel kind of more high class now. So, I mean, I think we should have put our pinky up when we ate it. Next time. Next time. That is the best dip you will ever have. I can guarantee you, bar none, the best dip you'll ever eat. So awesome. I think I'm rubbing off on my wife because me and Alex have been inside for the past like three hours and she has been outside for three hours fishing. So we've kind of changed roles here. We're gonna have the kids try this caviar and kind of see their reaction if they like it or not. I don't think it has to smell. She's got the most. Two, Three, one, go. Ew. <laughs> That's not bad. Ew. Ew. Sorry, what do you think? I mean, what do you think, it just tastes like fish. It's not tastes like fish? Like mm -hmm. That's good. What do you think about it, Andrew? It's not what I thought it would be. Yeah, good or bad? So-so? Mm. Yeah, it's a little mucky. Hey, good job trying it, though. James, what do you think about it? It has a tiny bit of a dirt juice. It's good. <laughs> well, dinner is done. I am full, but the kids want a fire, so we're going to make a fire so they can have some s'mores. You guys keep feeding that. Oh, all right. All right. Did you get a one of these, buddy? No. How is the baby? Mm. Yeah. How good is it? You know, we could do is put it. They're done eating s'mores. Now we're going to surprise them with the fireworks. Hey, we're going to have this night go off with a bang. Yeah! Hey, you want this? Hey, We're gonna prep this spot because we need a really level ground. Just trying to prep the fuses now. Okay, so I'm sure the video did not like portray how loud those were, but those mortars absolutely echoed all the way across the whole waterway the the kids really liked it and i think i liked it more than the kids it's america it just needs white well fireworks are done kids are in bed and we're just going to take it easy for the rest of the night do a little bit of fishing and then uh yeah Start packing up and we leave in the morning. Oh yeah, over. I knew it was something little. It was nibbling. A little channel cat. Well, it looks like Sawyer got stung by that little catfish. Now those little catfish, they're stingers. 
their stingers are so much more sharp than the older ones. You get like a seven, eight, nine pound channel or blue cat, their stingers are not that sharp because I think they just get worn down from fighting each other and rubbing up against rocks and, and whatnot and rubbing against the bottom. But the little ones are literally like, uh, they're like needles. They are so sharp and they do not feel good. They'll make your hand swell up. Yeah, like a little bee sting, huh? Yeah. You'll feel it for a bit, and no doubt about that. Let me see, bud. Ox got himself a little crappie. It's my PB. PB crappie. Personal <laughs> best. Best one ever. Robbing the cradle. That's an actual crappie. <laughs> we got another crappie. I am totally being lazy and just sitting here videoing. <laughs> I just like watching them reel it in, so. And Sawyer got on a crappie. It's not a crappy crappie right there. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's our last day and we're packing up the truck and headed back to Illinois. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know we had an absolute blast. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Got a lot of hunting, fishing, camping videos. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you guys next time at JP Outdoors.